People often feel pain from heartbreak over the loss of love, but a broken heart can be an actual medical diagnosis. The technical term is stress cardiomyopathy. Dr. Harmony Reynolds is a cardiologist from NYU's Langone Medical Center, and she published a study in the American Journal of Cardiology about broken heart syndrome. Great to have you. Uh, can you tell me what it is? Sure. Broken heart syndrome goes by a number of different names, and all of them are colorful. But this is a heart attack type syndrome. And so for the patients, it feels exactly like a heart attack. And for doctors, when the patients come in, they're having the right symptoms. The EKG changes look like heart attack. That's a typical type of heart attack. The blood tests will show that there's heart attack. But what's different about this, there are a number of different things. Okay. So one is that if we do an angiogram, if we check the heart arteries in the middle of it, we anticipate that there's going to be a bad blockage in a heart attack. But in this type of heart attack, the arteries are open. Even so, the heart muscle is not working well. And in fact, in broken heart syndrome or Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, the area of dysfunction of the heart muscle can be even more extensive than in typical heart attack. But what's most interesting about this is it completely goes away. So if people survive the initial incident, the heart goes back to normal. So when did you and when did re medical researchers discover that broken heart was a thing? This was in the mid-1990s in Japan. Okay. And what are the signs? Uh, are there any other signs other than what you would say, oh, you're, you're feeling a heart attack? Are there any other signs that you might be feeling medical broken heart syndrome? Well, it can be hard to tell. So the symptoms, again, are really just like heart attack, and it's important for people who are watching this to know that if they feel the symptoms, they really need to get to a hospital right away, even though it will go away on its own if it proves to be broken heart what syndrome. What about the fact that symptoms for heart attack are so different for men than they are for women? You know, that's true to a certain extent, but it's also true that women will classically have chest pain. Most women with heart attack are going to have pain in the chest. More women have additional symptoms, and more women will have pain outside the chest. But most women will also have chest pain. Your study looked at some of the reasons people might have an episode of broken heart syndrome. What are those reasons? Broken heart syndrome is typically caused by a severe emotional or physical stress. So it gets the term broken heart syndrome because it's often a severe emotional stress like the death of a loved one or some very upsetting news, almost having an accident. We've seen a couple of patients like that. But it can also be an extreme physical stress. So we had someone who went white water rafting and she had gotten it. It was just much more physical activity than she was accustomed to. We had somebody who was bicycling for a very long distance while under a period of emotional stress. Sometimes it's a combination and sometimes there's no trigger at all. How long does does it last? It lasts weeks to months. And, and is that ever fatal? Yes, it can be fatal. And the patients who survive it still have a higher risk of death in follow-up in uh, their future lives. So the risk of death is over 5% per year. And who does it affect? It affects 90% women. There are some men. And it's typically in the postmenopausal years. So the average age is around 65. The emotional term that we use to describe a, a broken heart, mm -hmm. if anyone has ever felt like they lost their soulmate, if you've ever experienced the death of a child, you might actually feel your heart breaking. Do you have any indication whether those are episodes of medical broken heart syndrome? That's a fascinating question, and the only way to know is if all those people went to hospitals so we could check them. It's very hard to be sure. Okay, and, and I guess that's probably out of the question to ask grieving people in the depths of their sorrow to go to the hospital to have their heart looked at. True, but on the other hand, if you're having chest pain in any situation that you think could be heart-related, you belong in a hospital. Interesting. Dr. Reynolds, thank you so much for coming in and thank sharing you your study. Me.